and it went on my computer, and I typed in, feminist near me, and I... <laughs> and I couldn't believe my luck. The world's best feminist icon was round the corner, Beyonce. She was at the road, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> she had a show on with her husband. I had a spare 186 pounds in my back pocket. <laughs> now we're in that gender pay gap, she is. <laughs> Beyonce to begin with, I'll be honest. I, I wasn't, I, I liked the, I liked the hand song. Um, <laughs> but it wasn't until she brought out Lemonade where I really got on board, because I don't know if you know this, I don't know if I'm telling you this for the first time, but basically, Jay-Z, he's cheating on Beyonce. <laughs> because she was doing well and he couldn't handle it and his daddy don't love him or something like that. <laughs> so I went. It was called the OTR2 show. Apparently, there'd been another show. I didn't know about that. <laughs> but I didn't think it was a very catchy title, so I, I sort of, I, I renamed it myself. Um, I've got to go on tour. My husband's got to come with me, so I know where he is at every single fucking point of the day. <laughs> show. Because you can imagine that conversation at home, can't you? Where she was like, I'm, I'm going on tour, and he's like, well, I'll just stay here with the kids. And she's like, no, you're fucking not. We're getting a male nanny, and you're fucking coming with me now. <laughs> she's clever. She's brilliant. They're a poster for the show. Um, two of them on a motorbike. Now, you would imagine that Beyonce, one of the most successful feminist icons in the world, would be, if they're on a motorbike, she'd be on the front of it, you know? With her arms up in the air in a smashing dress, with, with him in a side cart like Gromit. <laughs> on that says the words I'm sorry on the side. <laughs> but it went like that. It was on the front of it. She could barely see her. You saw her eye poking out like that. What's that message? I'll tell you what that message is. The message is, we're in therapy. <laughs> it's going really well. <laughs> We've got three kids, yay! <laughs> and they all look like him, which out of the two faces isn't really the one I would have gone for. <laughs> was incredible. She sings and dances at the same time. That's really hard. <laughs> and she did five costume changes within the first nine and a half minutes. Five. I ain't even done one yet. <laughs> and I say yet, yeah, because if you don't like the show, I'll just slip a tit out at the end. <laughs> all this time I've been doing comedy, I thought what I've been doing, like the, the, the position on stage I've been doing was the best one, you know? This one. Walking up and down, looking a bit confident, showing you my wrists every now and again to show vulnerability. <laughs> I thought it was this, you know? But apparently, as a feminist in 2019, that's the wrong position to take, because according to Beyonce, when I went to see her show, I should have done the entire show so far. <laughs> I can't actually, you know that sentence? I can't say it. I've got to pay her 35K if I do. You know the sentence she says? Uh, who runs the world? Yeah, who does? Girls! China is actually the answer. <laughs> it's China. They, they say it's us women to rile us all up, but it's not us. It's not even white guys, it's just China. <laughs> I got half Chinese brother. I'm not Chinese, stop looking, that's racist. <laughs> He's normal, my brother, you don't need this. He's an electrician. He doesn't come and see me do gigs, and I asked him once, I was like, why don't you watch me do comedy? He was like, you don't watch me do electrics. <laughs> and I can... You know, I can hear some of you in here thinking, do you know what, Jade, why don't you go and watch a show and enjoy it, you know? Stop being a typical millennial. I'm, I'm on the cusp. <laughs> Stop being a typical millennial. Just sit there and enjoy it, Jade. And do you know what? At this point, I did. I sat down and I was like, do you know what? Each to their own, do what you want. But then Jay-Z came out, right? <laughs> Jay-Z turns up in an anorak. <laughs> A blue standard anorak. <laughs> like, with, like, no, no, no diamonds or, like, flames or whatever he wants on it. <laughs> Just done up under 
under his chin. He looked... Fu- Do you know what? He looked cold. <laughs> face I've seen before when I used to do dancing. He looked like a dad waiting for his son to come out of freestyle disco dancing in 1996. <laughs> and I was like, it's fine, it's fine. But then, but, but then, Jay-Z, well, she's bent over like that. Jay-Z started grabbing her ass. He started grinding up against her, which is disgusting when I do it, but he's 50. <laughs> Nearly. And they've got kids, they're parents. How are they getting away with this? I wouldn't get away with this. I worked it out. I figured it out how they're getting away with this because they got cool names. <laughs> Seriously, Jay-Z and Beyonce, they're going to be doing that in their 90s and people are going to go, that's brave. 